हेलो फ्रेंड्स लेट्स स्टार्ट विथ क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी थ्री नाउ इट इज सेइंग देर इज ए कन्वेक्स क्वारिटल नाउ पी इज अ पॉइंट विच हु सम फ्रॉम द वट इज ए सम ऑफ द डिस्टेंसेज फ्रॉम इट्स वट इज द लीस्ट सो आई एम क्लेमिंग दैट पी मस्ट बी द पॉइंट ऑफ इंटरसेक्शन ऑफ द डायगोनल्स सो लेट्स प्रूव आवर क्लेम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल so someone will say i can take p anywhere so take anywhere like p dash i am taking so one can see join all the four vertices to the p dash now p dash a plus p dash b plus p dash c plus p dash t now club p dash a and p dash c which means these two and club p dash b and p dash t so we find that p dash a plus p dash c i am clubbing and p dash b plus p dash d i am clubbing so from triangular inequality what we find p dash a plus p dash c sum of two sides must be greater than equal to third side that is ac and p dash b plus p dash d that is sum of two sides is again greater than third side that is bd so ac plus bd that is constant which means abc is a fixed quadrilateral so which means its minimum value will be ac plus bd but equality holds when will be equality holds equality holds when both equality holds so which means p dash must be the point of intersection of ac must lie on the ac line and p dash must also lie in bd line because in the triangular inequality equality holds provide all three points becomes a line which means it falls in a it, all three points becomes a collinear so which means p dash must be in the line of bd and p dash must be in the line of ac and both will occur simultaneously when p dash in the point of intersection of ac and bd so which means when p and p dash will be equal which means it becomes a point of intersection then it will be equality so we first proved our claim that p must be the point of intersection of two diagonals now we go to the second part now so we have found that p must be the point of intersection of diagonals after that it is mentioning that pa pb pc pd distance it is giving let's say that is a b c d to so a b c d set it is given it has given that its value is somewhere 3 6 3 4 6 8 so we not, do not know yet whether a is 3 or b is 4 or c is 6 and d is 8 just we have that a b c d will be somewhere uh, it will belongs to that set 3 4 6 8 8 now let's say angle between these two a and b side that is theta automatically that will be pi minus theta so here it will also be theta and it is also pi minus theta if we take sin of all four angles it will be sin theta sin theta only so there are four triangles so area of such quadrilateral abcd will be equal to half ab sin theta then ad sin theta then dc sin theta plus bc sin theta so half sin theta will be taken common and will have ab plus ad plus dc plus bc so which means we need to add them ab plus bc plus cd plus d in the cyclic order so how will i assign abcd so that its product is maximum obviously sin theta because we need to maximize the triangle area so sin theta must be equal to 1 so half into sin theta i am taking as 1 so which means theta i am taking 90 degree so i am assuming so all two diagonals intersect at 90 degree so this is 90 degree so now how will i assign a b c d so obviously to maximize this value i need to multiply the largest quantity so let's say i am multiplying 8 with 6 so again i need to multiply 8 with the second largest quantity that is third largest quantity that is 4 so 3 remains so our area will be equal to 8 into 4 32 then 8 into 6 48 Then six into three, eighteen plus twelve. Upon simplification, we get answer as fifty-four 
55 i think yes i am getting 55 so that is our answer thank you